So, episode 21 came around fast. And you're probably thinking, it's getting stuck of stuff to build now. Nah. Now, as a child, I'll always remember when I first listened to Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds LP. From the first scratches as the needle hit that vinyl, then Richard Burton's voice talking of no one would believe, to the da 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 of the horns. I was hooked instantly. But sadly, the remake after TV remake has always left me feeling slightly underwhelmed. Bits of every re remake are good, but nothing ever captivated me like the musical version. Even now when I listen to it, I still get that chill. So, it got me thinking, how would I make an alien from War of the Worlds? I love steampunk, and I've mashed up builds that have had a sprinkle of steampunk in them. So this build is my alternate version of how as a child, I envisioned the aliens destroying everything in their path. So I started with an old selfie stick thing to hold the mobile phone up with. I thought just looking at it, the way it was shaped with the foam around it, that was the basis to build everything on top of. So. I'm just using some cable ties just to sort of give it a little bit of texture and that's an old USB cable that I'm just going to dismantle and use the wires inside again just to add to the legs just to give it a bit of interest. My original plan was to use the cable ties for each indent of uh, of all the legs but that became a massive undertake so I just cheated and halfway up used some uh, garden wire just to hold the uh, USB um, electrical cable in, in its place. So then what I did was I just stuck the bits that I'd clipped off the cable ties onto the legs and then used um, diodes from a couple of old remote controls just to make it look slightly different uh, and give it some sort of texture on the legs. Now I uh, have to confess I forgot to film the part where I put the phone holder 
that came with the um, tripod legs into one of the plastic lids uh, because I'm a professional um, so all I did was just hot glued it into place then drilled the hole that went through um, the plastic and actually went through the mobile phone holder bit so then everything can attach later on and then just to cover that seam up with both uh, I think the coffee lids I just used a bit of cable tie just to uh, just to cover up the seam now these are just normal plastic lids off containers coffee jars that sort of stuff and I'm just gonna cut all these down and just make them into paneling paneling panels panels there we go just gonna make them into panels uh, and I'm gonna texture them with a little um, a punch just to, so it gives the effects of rivets along the edges and then they will be stuck onto the uh, coffee jar lids it's nothing too fancy here I'm not even going for uh, straight edges I'm just uh, marking the uh, the panels out on the plastic and then just gonna cut them um, and then stick them on And as you can see, I was far too busy to do these, uh, the details on the panels. So I got a uh, hairy chimpanzee to uh, do this for me, who had no concept of how to work with the camera and just plowed on and just made the panels. just put adhesive beads around the top and the bottom of the coffee lids just to give it some more detail and then used a champagne cork for the chimney and yes that is the James Bond Bollinger I have tastes you know um, and what I'm using there is the 2mm flexi foam and I just gave that some more detail and now I'm just going to use one of the washers from a spray bottle just to uh, give the top of the chimney a better uh, finish and then just stick it on and then stick it on to the uh, coffee lids Now these little things that I'm uh, cutting up here, they were from some lights that I used in a previous build um, and they were just like decorations around the lights. So I'm going to use these as grabbers. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the, the tip of it off and then going to attach it and glue it to a spring. And these washers uh, come part of a set with a screw I think you use them for roofing stuff like that and uh, they have rubber on the inside of them and it's a lot easier for them to stick to uh, to plastic so I'm just using them as kind of like it started off as windows um, 
but it kind of developed from there when I realized I had other stuff that I could use on this build. So at the moment, we'll just pretend that they look like little portals of windows on the build. Then I looked through my uh, Greebly box and remembered that I'd got these from Deadly's Props. Go check him out on Instagram. Um, they're little machine guns that I decided to use. So I'm using some uh, piping um, that I got from Green Stuff World, I think it was. And then I'm just going to attach the, uh, the guns onto the piping. So what started off as windows have now become... Um, extensions for the guns because I thought this thing needed guns Now you'll notice um, that I've put two grabbers on this and then I had a slight accident because I'm an idiot. I actually dropped it while I was taking the glamour shots and one of the grabbers pinged straight off. And so I just left it. I thought one is better than the two. So that was a happy, happy accident. And then this was from a hair trimmer I think it was like a speed dial or something and I just thought it might look cool on the uh, on the build I know it's random but there you go and then just kept adding bits and pieces to everything and then when I was happy that it had more guns on it then I could shape two sticks to it I decided to attach it to the tripod and this was easy because it just quite literally screwed into place and then just got it into some sort of pose where it wouldn't tip over and then it was ready just for some more greebly bits which was then the clockwork bits So I'm just going to attach the chimney and then um, another pipe which I just made it to look like um, more steampunky if that's ever such a word and then uh, tried the uh, clock mechanism uh, because I was so proud of myself because I was hoping it was going to work and then realized it was failed so I had to go back and just take things apart and realign everything for it to actually work. So I decided to keep the painting as simple as possible. So it was um, a black spray can and then I used uh, kind of like a dry brush of copper uh, and then detailed uh, the little bits like the guns and the beading with um, different shades of silver so it was like normal silver and then gun silver and left it as is
And here's a little uh, tip for you. I used these uh, brushes and always took ages for uh, for me to dry them. And by accident, I actually put it next to the hairdryer and it brings it all back nice and fluffy like now I'm not even going there not making a joke out of it I'm just gonna say it makes the brushes as good as new So then just to give it a little bit more of a dirty look I just went back over it with a dry brush, a, a very dry brush of um, black just to give it that sort of dirty sort of industrial sort of look and in the end I think it turned out really well and it will soon be for the glamour shots so as always thank you for watching if you like what you saw and you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe it'll help the channel out and makes me feel happy when I look and see I've got another subscriber uh, and until the next build I'll see you all very soon and I can't believe I didn't do one dad joke one mum joke in this video I'm being a good boy Didn't you notice that this hairdryer blows better than your...